Yo, what's up everybody? This is Jermaine Crawford, and the streets is talking right now with Hip Hop Wire. Well, uh, drugs are definitely real, and especially being on set, you get to see that firsthand because a lot of people think that we shot The Wire in LA or New York on some type of soundstage, but we shot in the trenches of the heart of Baltimore, so we got to see firsthand we've had drug bust happen in the middle of our shooting, you know, just cops will skirt and shut it down. So it's, it's very real because when I was younger, I wasn't exactly, I was probably 13, 14 when I did that scene. So I didn't know too much about heroin specifically, but I do know that he was doing some type of drug and I did see what drugs did to people and I knew all the things and all the connotations that it had. So I really wasn't too into like the research part of that back then, but uh, I do know that it had a terrible effect on him and his future and it, you know, held him back from his fullest potential because he couldn't really shake the problem. Well, my, my, my answer might be a little different. I just think that right now music is really moving towards bass. Lots and lots of bass, whether it is hip hop, whether it is R&B, I think that a soulful artist, we're starting to realize again that our strength is really in the bass lines and it's really in the rhythm of the bass. So I think that people are starting to pay attention that the bass is really happening and you know it's our strength. So I mean, I guess it's piggybacking. I mean, if it's smart, yeah. probably not. I think R and B. Well, the next every ten years, music kind of transitions into its next thing. But I still think the bass is going to stick around because it has. The bass has always been something. It's just that with technology advancing, those 909s are fuller, those 808s are fuller. You know, we're mastering projects louder than we've ever mastered it before because of the advancement. So um, I don't know. It'll grow. It'll evolve. But I still think it's going to have a heavy, full sound. I think Jason Derulo's great. I think uh, Trey Song is great. I think Chris Brown is great. I think August Alsina is great. I think he's very talented. Um, I try and keep my ears to as much as possible, but I try not to because I don't really want to copy what anybody else is doing, but those are the first people that come to mind. They're really killing R&B. They do songs that I hear and it's like, damn, I wish I was on it. You know what I'm saying? So it gets me excited. Their music, it, the future of R&B is in good hands, so to speak. Well, I just dropped an EP called Four Play Twa about last month and uh, we're doing good, rolling that baby out. We're gonna give some things supporting soon and I've got some more things coming very soon musically and uh yeah it shouldn't be too long either absolutely we all keep in touch uh it's easier through social media now you can send someone a dm you can send someone a tweet you can send them a text message even but it's hard to get us all into the same room but we do keep in touch especially because um hbo just recently aired the whole series so we were all just kind of like man what up what's good it was like a reunion cyber reunion. uh probably tristan of all me and tristan are closest that's probably because we're cousins but you know whatever we all keep in touch though we all keep in touch